And that's it, man. That's how you make your meal prep. And you make it in a way where you cook all these in buck, but when you make your meals, you make it to your flavor, what you want. Real simple. For me, this would be a meal, two meals. It's meal prep time. Uh, we are going through a six weeks transformation, me and AD. And I want to come online to show you exactly how I prepare my meals for, for, the, for the week. Because fasting, the last thing you want to happen is, you know, you're through fasting, you, you, you're, you're at that point where it's getting close time to eat, you look in the kitchen, there's nothing prepared. So tell me, OG, what you're going to do? You're going to either go buy you some junk, and you're not going to know what's in that food, or you're going to just cram in your closets and eat whatever you have you. Uh, this preparation will allow you to know exactly what's going into your body, the calories, the macronutrients. When I say macronutrients, I'm talking about your carbohydrates, your fats, and your proteins, which are very, very important. Uh, so this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I do to prepare my week for my meals. And the great thing about this preparation is there's no distinctive flavors. I'm making it. I'm just making it in a batch. And with each meal, I will make it into a flavor. For example, I can make me a Spanish dish, have a lot of cheese in it, have some picante sauce, or I can make it into an Asian dish. I can get some Asian sauce. So each of these preparations I have here can be prepared for a different flavor you want for that particular meal. Enough said, my friend. Let's get started. Let me show you exactly what I got here. I got two pounds of ground beef. I believe, believe this is um, 8812. I have some ground turkey. Ground turkey, I believe it's 937. I got three cups of rice. The seasonings all I have is some black pepper. I got some garlic and I got some sea salt. And then I got some chicken stock, which I'm gonna use for the rice. I have some uh, minced garlic and one onion for vegetables. We got some fresh uh, green beans and we got some spinach, olive oil. That's all we got, dude, that's all we need. And this here alone will supply all the protein I need, all the vegetables I need, all the carbs I need for the week coming at hand. And this will produce at least 10 or more meals. Enough said, let me show you exactly how I prepare these meals so you can follow and learn and add it to your weekly routine. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get my green beans ready. The main thing with these fresh green beans, I'm gonna use half this bag, man. I'm only gonna use half of it because I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat it all. I don't wanna waste the food. So that's half of the bag. What I'm doing now is placing the green beans in a, <laughs> a broken, um, whatever the thing's called, broken something. I'm going to put in this bowl. I'm going to go over to the sink and wash it out. But also, before I go there, let's go ahead and cut. I'm going to cut an onion. This onion is going to be used for my, for my spinach. I'm going to use the garlic on my green beans. So I'm going to use this onion as my spinach as well as I'm going to use some of this onion for uh, the meat. So we can add some flavor to that meat, some fresh onions, all right? So enough said. I'm going to go ahead and get these washed. I'm going to cut this onion and get things going. Another hack, my wife likes me to do or taught me to do <laughs> is to always put have a bow out for your scraps so you can easily put that in trash but what i got going on here i'm gonna go and cut this onion and watch these green beans real quick the green beans are washing now what i got over here warming up in this i have about eight gallons of water getting heated now in preparation to blanch those green beans to speed the process and also the flavor of the water i put a, a little salt in there just a little bit salt so that can get ready for the green beans. That's going to be for the green beans. We're going to blanch those bad boys. Mainly blanching me, I'm going to put those green beans in hot water while it's boiling. And once they turn to a evergreen, a bright green, I take them out the water and put them in a cold bath with ice, ice water. So that can be crispy and ready for the next phase of cooking the green beans. Enough said. Let's go ahead and cut this onion. Most of you know how to cut an onion. I'm quite sure OG. You should know how to cut an onion. Now, if you don't know how to cut an onion, bro, you need to get in the kitchen, my friend. You can't depend on family. I'm not going to say family who to cook your food. If you can, great. But my friend, you have to cook for yourself. Learn how to take care of yourself, OG. That's what this is all about. Because this part of our season, man, we know we have to learn how to do for ourselves. We done did so much in our lives for others. We done did so much in our lives for our kids, for our family. 
Now is the time, OG, for us to take care of ourselves. So this first onion, I'm going to chop him up. Now I'm not a, I'm not a professional cook, my friend. This is straight up hood cooking, learning from what I can. Uh, I'm not a professional chef, in other words. So my cutting style may not be the way the chefs do, like all that. <laughs> no, man, I, it's not it's not that channel. What I'm just trying to show you how is to cook a way where you can be successful in your fast. So these are my chopped onions, all right? That's going to be inside of my meat. Now, here goes my sliced onions. I cut them in about a fourth of an inch long, and uh, this is going to be in my spinach. Probably going to do about three cups of spinach or half that bag there. So my vegetables are ready, real simple. Green beans are ready. Now should be washed. Water should be boiling soon. I'm going to go ahead and get my green beans and get ready to blast those bad boys. All right, the green beans are washed. Take a look at these bad boys. These are cleaned and washed and ready to go. I had put my onions and my sliced onions in these bowls here to get ready for my meats and my spinach. So the water is just not ready for a boil just yet. Let me go ahead and get ready and start in the meanwhile to prep my meal, my meat, and my meat will be uh, cooked in a skillet. I'm going to cook the um, let's cook the beef. Let's cook the beef first. And all we get on with the beef is we just browning it, y'all. We're going to use only salt, pepper, and onion powder to cook this beef. Come on, let's take a look. The pot is on medium heat. It's getting hot now. Let me go ahead and add just a little oil because what I'm going to do is add some onions to it. That's about a tablespoon of oil. Remember that, remember that number, a tablespoon of oil. We're going to add that to our ingredients once we start calculating the calories. Here, I'm going to go ahead and add my onions to it. Just a hand, a couple of chunks in there, about half of what I cut. Other half is going to go into the turkey, and we're going to let that bad boy brown up real quick. Also, I'm going to add some black pepper, just enough to cover the onions up. A little sea salt. There you go, real simple. We want to make sure when we're doing this thing, we want to make sure our ingredients are simple. We're not adding too much to it. We're keeping it simple because the ideal is to be able to uh, flavor the food per meal how you want it. I like browning my onions before I put meat in there because it allows the meat to break down faster and better, and it gives good flavor to your meat. You don't want no bland food after fasting for 20 hours. You want to taste some good, tasty food, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to add our meat. And once this gets translucent and looks great, the water's not boiling yet. Let me turn it up some more so I can get the water boiling. Ideally, this shouldn't take any more than 30 minutes, my friend, to cook this food. Another thing, OG, what I prefer, my friend, is not to have a lot of pots because you know what? I don't like cleaning up after myself. How can I keep it simple? Use the same skillet. Use the same pots that you use for all of the food you're cooking. Like I'm going to use the same skillet uh, for the black, I'm sorry, for the black, but for the ground beef and the turkey, as well as when I start sauteing the spinach or sauteing the green beans. One skillet, one boiler, done deal. 30 minutes, food ready for a week. All right, I believe everything is set. Everything here is, is uh, getting sauteed and a nice brown coat there. Now it's ready. I'm going to go ahead and just dump my beef in there. Real simple. Real simple, my friend. Get my spoon. Start chopping up that beef. This is two pounds of ground beef, a lot of protein, great for testosterone, great for building muscle, great for overall health. All right. I'm chopping up real nice. Cut the heat down just a little bit and let it do his thing, man. This is a real, real simple process for a very important piece of your life. This piece of your life is your body. You know, you are what you eat. You are what you consume. Yo, I do love and enjoy to go out and eat some steaks, eat some pancakes, eat a whole fried chicken, you know? I love it, man. But also I realized that even though I love it, doesn't mean that it's the best thing for me. I can't do that every day. Maybe once a week I can go enjoy. 
So live by the 80, 80 20 rule. 80% of the time, kick it. <laughs> I'm sorry, 80% of the time, eat well, eat smart. 20% of the time, go get you something great to eat, my friend. But being that we're going through our six weeks transformation, that 20 should look more like a 10. Because me, AD, and Rick got some goals, my friend. And that goal is to get our body into shape, lose some of this unnecessary weight, and get going. And hopefully that's the same plan you have for yourself. And that's why we're here, my friend, to be examples. To show you OGs out there, there's a lifestyle you can live that promotes life and good health. All right, let's go ahead and add some flavor to it. I'm just going to add, I would say, a tablespoon or two tablespoons. Maybe it's just a tablespoon of, of pepper. I'm just shaking enough of it so I can see it coat the top of it, of that meat nice and good. Beef does well with black pepper, so you can go heavy with black pepper. All right, the next thing I'm going to add is some sea salt. All right. I imagine this is, could be, if you wanted it to be measured, about a tablespoon of sea salt. Remember, this is two pounds of ground beef. And being that it's a 8812 list number, it's going to render a lot of fat. We're going to cook that fat down, my friend. Now I'm adding some garlic, about a tablespoon of garlic. That's all flavor you need for your beef because we are preparing it so it can be flavored for each meal. All right, I'm chopping it up some more. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to, oh, get back in there, boy. I'm going to let this cook down. My water is getting ready to boil over here. Let's go ahead and grab those green beans and get ready to throw those bad boys in there so they can get nice and light green for me. We'll take them out and put them in an ice bath. The ground beef is about cooked down. It's looking pretty pretty good. It's The fat's rendered down quite a bit. I'm going to cook it a little longer because I want that fat to completely go away. In the meanwhile, the water is at a boil. Now it's ready for me to go ahead and add the green beans here we go so we're going to dump just the green beans in here and let them go ahead and blanch up i'm gonna go ahead and do my little toss in there let them go and let the water do its thing turn up a little bit it's probably gonna be like three to four minutes to cook meantime that's going also you see here i have three cups of water i'm adding three cups of chicken stock in here this is going to be for the brown rice I washed my brown rice. I have three cups of it. Let's go ahead and turn, turn on this boiler. There it goes. All right, turn up the green beans so it can get nice and pretty. Beef's cooking. Turkey's getting ready. We're going to be done in a minute, y'all. It's been about 10, 10 minutes of cooking so far. Everything's looking good. The green beans are still blanching, if you will. The water for the rice is getting hot. Let me go ahead and add the rice into it because I don't want it to get to a ball just yet. I want it to get in, into a ball together. Let me get a spoon. Get a spoon so I can go ahead and add the rice to it. Again, this rice was washed. I wash it just enough so I can make sure the water is clear to rinse off all the gook and junk off there. All right. That's good enough for me. Let me stir it up a little bit so that rice can settle at the bottom. Settle evenly. Let me turn it down a tad. And let it go into a bowl. Once that rice go into a bowl, I'll cover it and let it allow it to steam. All right, here we go. That's going. Now the beef is ready. The goal is to batch cook all this food, right? I'm batch cooking so I have food for the entire week. I'm not gonna sit and eat two pounds of beef in one setting. The goal is to have meals prepared and, and food prepared so you can be successful during your fast and successful regardless of fasting, be successful in your, in your uh, fitness journey, in your life period. So that's two pounds of cooked ground beef ready for whatever I want. There's not a lot of flavor, not a lot of seasoning in there. There's not a lot of overbearing flavors, right? It's ready for me. I can now just take a cup of this with a cup of rice, throw some barbecue on it, sauce on it. I'm good to go. That's what it's all about, y'all.
Uh, I'm going to keep it old school. I'm not going to rinse out my pan. I got that good seasoning in there already, right? I got a little fragments of beef in there for me. All I'm going to do is cut this fire back on. My green beans is about ready. I'm going to put a little olive oil in there, about a tablespoon. Let that heat up. Throw some onions in there. Guess what? We're going to throw that turkey right in that same pot. All right, my green beans is about ready. Let me go ahead and stir up a little more for it. Make sure they're good. I'm going to take those bad boys out. Put them in some ice in the ice bath so it can get nice and crispy. I'm sure what we're going to do next with that. Go to my ice bath for the green beans. Let me give me a tool so I can grab those green beans out of there and throw them straight into this ice bath. Remember here I got my uh, oil cooking for the green beans, right? So I'm going to be real safe. Just going to grab these green <laughs> for green beans for the turkey. I'm going to grab these green beans, throw them in this ice bath of water. So they can cool down. I let them sit in there for a bit. And right there, I let this sit in that ice water. Pull it over here. Let's go ahead and add the onions here. The rest of the onions. For the turkey, I also add some garlic. So let's let the onion cook down a bit. Cut it down. Smells good. Smells real good. All right, now we're going to add us a tablespoon of garlic in here into the mix there for the turkey. Stir it up a bit. Get the flavors going. Let's go ahead and dump the turkey in there. Oh, man, I got me a couple of green beans left in here, man. I want it all. I want it all, homie. Green beans look good. I have to go ahead and start chopping up this turkey. My rice water and rice hadn't started boiling yet. Once that rice gets to a boil, I will cover and let it slow cook. Cut the fire off and let it do its thing. Rice cooks itself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let the turkey start getting ready. And I believe everything is set. With the turkey, I season it the same way I season the beef. Not as much black pepper, not as much, not as much seasoning because turkey doesn't require a lot of seasoning uh, like the beef does. The seasoning really sticks up more with the uh, turkey so we're gonna cover it up just nice with a little pepper a little salt again it's all about not really giving your food too much flavor right now because we're going to do it with the meal prep and some garlic also have garlic in there so it's not a lot of garlic i need to add the garlic powder other than that that's pretty much it. We're going to allow this turkey to cook down, get all the juices to cook down. I like mine's in between chunky and minced. Minced. Two pounds of turkey. Ground beef is ready. Rice is cooking. Green beans are halfway ready. You're going to keep it simple. Not using a lot of pots. Right now, I'm tapping into three pots. It's all good because you're preparing yourself for the week. And for what's coming up, we're going to let this cook down, get rid of all that pink, let that juice or the uh, fat render away, and we'll be done. This thing needs to start boiling so I can cover it up. I'm going I'm to pick up the heat just a little bit on there so we can get it going. Ground turkey is just about ready. The pink is gone. There is a little render left at the bottom, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and let this cook for two more minutes. Rice is now boiling. I'm going to cover it up. Turn the heat off. Let that bad boy sit and be happy. So let me get a bowl for this ground turkey. Get him out of there. Ground turkey is ready. Here we go. Put it by the beef. Cover them up. Let's get ready to cook these green beans. They're still sitting in water. I'm going to add some oil to this pot. 
I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out because I want to be nice and fresh for the green beans. Beans, what I've done, I drained the green beans out of the uh, ice bath. I pat dry them with a paper towel so they can be dry enough so I can sear them in the uh, skillet. So right now I got two tablespoons of butter. Everything is better with butter, as my homies say on Instagram. Everything's better with butter, baby. All right, let's get that butter to melt down. In the meanwhile, let's get the spinach ready. And we're almost done, my friend. I got this big old bag of spinach here from Costco. It's pre-washed and it's ready for me to sear and get ready. I'm gonna use the same skillet to cook this spinach in. We're gonna make some lovely seared or skillet cooked spinach. All right, the butter is now rendering down, cooking down to where I want it. There's a leftover onion, I guess, on my spatula. That's all good. Let's go ahead and add tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon of garlic. Let that all cook to perfection and get all nice and beautiful here. As that's cooking down, let's get the seasonings ready. For this one, I'm gonna do a little something different. That's gonna be my salt right there, Laurie's seasoning salt. So that's cooked down. Don't wanna cook it too long because I don't want my garlic to burn. Now all we're gonna do is add the green beans. Had a little water in there, that's all good. Let that cook. Let him cook. As that start cooking and down, let me go ahead and add the flavor. Just a little bit, just to cover it. It up with a little black pepper. Let's add that some seasoned salt. Cover the top of it. Don't want to give it too much salt, too much flavor, because this is going to be part of the dish once we make it into what we wanted to make it into. Now, this, that's my flavor, right? My flavors are Spanish or Mexican style, barbecue style, Asian style. You may come up with something different. You may want to make an Indian kind with some curry or, or <laughs> some spices, right? The thing about it is when you batch cooking like this, you make the food bland. So when you're prepping your meal, you can make the meal the way you want it to be, the flavors you want it to be. This will prepare you for your week, prepare you for your day so you can be successful. And you can see the changes you desire in your body. Also, this will save you some money, my friend. You ain't got to go buy no food. Food is ready for the week, and it changes. Green beans are looking good. I keep cooking them, keep tossing them, so all of them can get cooked, because I put a lot in this pot. If you had a small batch, you wouldn't have to stir as much. You want those to get charred, right? Then they have a big batch. It's going to be kind of challenging to do that without burning some. So I keep tossing them, making sure all the garlic, the oil's in there, the, the butter covers each and every strand of all these green beans. Because remember, they are already cooked. I uh, I blanched them earlier so they could be nice and green and cooked through. Now all I'm doing is searing them, adding flavor, keeping them crispy, get them charred as much as possible, and they're ready to go. These are about ready, my friend. Take a look at this, y'all. Look at those green beans, man. That is beautiful. Good, good eating right there. That's the fiber you need. That's the nutrients you need in each meal. Real simple. All right, let's go ahead and cook these spinach, y'all. Get ready to cook these spinach. Go ahead and take them out. Go ahead and put them in a bowl. Everything will go into a large bowl right now. We're not meal prepping each meal just yet. We're just preparing the batch cooking of these meals. Easy, accessible for me, and easy to go. The rice is still doing its thing. It'll be about 30 minutes on that rice before it's ready. I'm gonna let it sit and do its thing. Time for some spinach. I've got two tablespoons of butter. You know, I'm lazy. I haven't even opened this bag up yet, y'all. Let's let the butter melt down. Let's open this bag of spinach. Go is use half this bag. Another thing I do is a hack. When I have bulk like this, I'll freeze my spinach in uh, Ziploc bags and, and uh, cup sizes for me. And not even cup sizes, by two cup sizes so I cook it frozen. That's another thing so I can make sure I can make save that money, man. You got to save this money. I don't want this to go to waste in the refrigerator. So I freeze it in the bag. It's ready for the next cook. Let this butter melt down. And then we're going to add 
some onions, saute those onions, a little garlic, add spinach, a little seasoning. We're done. Butter is melted down. Let's give it a stir. Hear that goodness, y'all? Everything is better with butter. Let's add all the onions, little sliced onions. Let's break that up some. Get it nice and translucent. I love the way onions taste, sliced onions taste with spinach. To me, that's the best combination. You can take it over top by adding just a half a tablespoon of garlic. I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna wait till those onions get a little soft, but I'm gonna prepare it for, prepare it for me so it can be ready when I wanna add it. Take a look at this, y'all. Take a look at this. There he is. Look at the beautiful onions and that butter getting ready. I'm about ready to eat, man. I'm not even hungry. I fasted this morning till about 11. Had to go to Sam's, get this food. While I was at Sam's, I always make it as a habit. My wife said, hey, bring home some sushi. We had some sushi. So I broke my fast with about a roll of sushi. I needed that rice because we had a killer workout this morning. Me, AD, and Rick, we weighed in as well. You know, this has been a week of fasting for us. First week for Rick and AD. And guess what, my friends? Each of us lost at least five pounds in one week. Now, I know some of you haters out there are saying, yeah, that was just water. Hey, that was just inflammation. Yeah, whatever, man. It was weight. As you get our ages, any weight on your body does put pressure on you and cause you to feel uncomfortable. So kudos to my homie AD and Rick for stick, staying true to the plan, sticking to the plan. And all we did this week was 16-hour fasts. And we, we didn't even change our meals. We just changed when we ate. And by changing when you eat, your body will respond and you will lose weight. Let's go, man. So the onions are nice and soft. Let's go ahead and add the garlic. Let's get this bad boy stirred. Let's turn this down a bit because my onions are getting brown. My butter's getting brown. With that said, let's go ahead and add just a handful of spinach. A handful. This is a bunch. A bunch of spinach. Because, you know, spinach is really big. But once that heat hits him, he gets small. This big old bowl here, half a bag, probably will be four servings. Probably. But we're going to make it do what it do. That's what we do, man. I'm going to turn this down, allow that spinach to cook down. And as it cooks down, I'm going to add more and more spinach. But yeah, this week, workouts have been on point. We've been making changes. I've been recording the workouts, recording how we're fasting, documenting it so that it can be proof in the pudding. And you never know. I might go ahead and make it available for you. If you want to follow the plan, the six weeks transformation, holla at your boy. I'm making it to where everybody can win. All of us OGs can win, right? That's the goal. So we're going to cook down a bit. Let me grab another handful. As I always say, homie, it ain't no fun if the homies can have none. I lost one. He done caught out. Get your butt back over here. Oh, I got burnt. Get back over here. All right, this is cooking down. The rice should be cooking great. I got it on low heat. It's been about 20 minutes of this, of cooking. 25 minutes. I'm almost done. Food is prepped. Food is ready. And it's Saturday, y'all. I'm already ready for the weekend. It's Saturday. And the reason why I'm cook prepping today, I usually prep on Sundays. I'm prepping today because my boy's playing tomorrow. Cowboys is on tomorrow, y'all. First game, we're going to get that Green Bay uh, uh, curse off our back. It's cooked down. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the spinach. Now, that was the last of the bunch. I'm going to add my vegetable seasonings, which is black pepper. I love black pepper. And some seasoning salt. I like seasoning salt on my vegetables. Also on my meat. But for this batch, I don't want to over season. And of course, you know what I'm talking about because we're going to season it. We're going to flavor it per meal. I think for this this week, my taste buds are leaning toward barbecue. So I'm going to get some good old barbecue sauce. Good old baby rays. And then I also have a flair for some Asian food. So I'm going to get some probably some uh, sweet sour sauce or something like that to add to it. All right, this is cooking down and I'll show you how it looks in a few minutes. 
So you, you remember that spinach, how it was big and bulky? Look at it now. That half bag looks like this, my friend. Look at it. It cooks down, man. We're going to let that cook a little while. Get some of those juices to cook away. Then we're going to put them in a bowl. Use my tongues. Grab this spinach out. I would pour it out, but let's go ahead and use the tongues. Don't really want all that spinach juice in my spinach because the way we're doing our dishes, it's going to be kind of like too much spinach juice would take away the flavors of the week, right? Of the milk. So I'm just going to take them out like this so I don't get all that juice from the spinach. Rice should be about ready. I got some leftover spinach on here. I'm not going to waste your time looking at me trying to get the spinach out. The food is done. This is the ground beef. That is the turkey. That's green beans. And here goes the spinach. I don't know if you saw the end result of that. That's it, man. That's my big old heap of the rice. I think I did overkill on <laughs> the amount of rice. I had three cups. I should have did two cups. Enough said. Let me show you how I prep these meals. If you want to measure them out, I'm not going to do all of them because I want to save time and make sure my meal prep is prepared for the week. But I want to show you a couple of them. What I got here, I got some sweet gravy rays, barbecue sauce. You're going to make a barbecue one. We're going to add some of that good old barbecue seasoning with that. Also, I got some hot sauce. And I was not going to do the hot sauce one. Let's do the, let's do the uh, Spanish one. Let's do some jalapenos and some sriracha. And we're going to make a little... No, let's do jalapenos, sriracha, and some avocado. Uh, cilantro and avocado on that one. So anyway, what I do when I prep it, I get my rice first. Let's go with a cup of rice. All right? A cup of rice. And the cool thing about this, man, you know exactly what's going in these bowls. So that's a cup of rice, right? I'm going to do a cup and a half. I'm going to get some high carbs this week on my carb days. So I'm going to do a cup and a half of rice on my high carb day, right? So I got a cup of rice in this bad boy. Then on that day, I'm going to do a barbecue bowl. Let's, let's do a turkey bowl with rice and barbecue. So I'm going to get a cup of turkey. Put it over there. All right. Then let's grab some green beans. It's gonna be my barbecue bowl. Cup of rice. Say a cup of green beans. I'm guesstimating. All right. All in there. Barbecue bowl. Gonna get some barbecue sauce. This is a. Uh, 70 calories, two tablespoons. I'm going to eyeball it. Two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Boom. Get my little shaker. Shake on some barbecue sauce seasoning. You got your barbecue bowl ready to go. Flavors in that barbecue bowl right there. Check it out. Real simple, man. All right, let's make one more bowl. Let's make a... Uh, a Spanish Mexican flavor bowl with some beef. So let's get some rice. Yeah, I'll use this cup over here. A cup of rice. Give me a fork so I don't make a mess. Fill it up. All right, cup of rice. We're going to keep this with one cup. That's a big cup. All right, and then I'm going to get a cup of ground beef. Right there. Put it on the side. And I'm going to grab some spinach instead of green beans. Nice heap of that spinach. Put it right in the middle. Get some more. Spinach in a bowl. You really could, if you wanted to, my finger's getting dirty. You really could, if you wanted to, eat it plain just like this. Because remember, we seasoned it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a Spanish flavor bowl, right? So what I'm going to do is grab a couple of these jalapenos. My wife in the background looking at me. She's ready to go. You see I changed clothes. You go hang out a bit and go see your mom. She, she's smiling behind me, behind you. I'm going to grab some of these jalapenos, throw it on there. All right. Then what we're going to do, going to get some sriracha sauce. 
Shake it up a little bit. Sriracha. On top, a little spice. I would add picante sauce, but I'm not a picante sauce fan. Then we're going to add a little avocado. That's my daughter. She's going to get mad at me. <laughs> well, I'm not going to open this up. I might got to cut this. Before. There you go. Just a little avocado um, dressing on top. Give a little Spanish flavor to it. Just a drizzle. And that's it, man. That's how you make your meal prep. And you make it in a way where you cook all these in buck, but when you make your meals, you make it to your flavor, what you want. Real simple. For me, this would be a meal, two meals in one day. I got a barbecue bowl with all the protein I need. That's going to be about 30 grams of protein. That's a cup of rice. I don't know. You do the macronutrients. And that's green beans. Then my second meal, I have a meal, a Mexican bowl, right? Ground beef, spinach, some avocado, cilantro on it, jalapenos and rice. Real simple from these meals here. Hey, man, appreciate you watching my channel. As always, be blessed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.